It's 10 trivia questions on songs by the decade. I'll give you the song, you tell me the decade. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show, and thanks for hitting subscribe so you never miss a new episode. Thanks for iTunes reviews to help get more eyes and ears on the show, and thanks for being a Patreon subscriber, where you can listen ad-free for just $1 a month. Go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds and sign up. You'll get a custom RSS feed link for the show with no ads. And if you need instructions on how to get that going, there is a post on the Patreon page that you'll unlock when you sign up. And you can also just Google Patreon subscriber RSS feed. You'll find instructions on how to put that on. Or you can email ryanbuds at gmail.com anytime and I will give you the deets. Today's episode, Songs by Decade. Name the decade the song debuted. I'll give you the artist and the name of the song for that. That'll be a bunch of fun. Before we get to that, we've got our categories game. We have the letter D, and we have reptiles or amphibians, tools, and things that have wheels. Reptiles, amphibians, tools, things that have wheels, all starting with a D. We are warmed up, we're ready to go, and we're diving in to Songs by the Decade. Here we go. It's Songs by the Decade. Let's see if you can get all 11 of these correct. Here's number one. We have All of Me by John Legend. Songs by the Decade, number one, All of Me, John Legend. Number two, Back in Black by ACDC. Back in Black by ACDC. Number three, Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Born to be Wild by Steppenwolf. Number four, Complicated by Avril Lavigne. Complicated by Avril Lavigne. Number five, Straight Outta Compton by N.W.A. Straight Outta Compton by N.W.A. Number six, Heroes by David Bowie. Heroes by David Bowie. Number seven, I Swear by All Four One. I Swear by All Four One. Number eight, London Calling by The Clash. London Calling by The Clash. Number nine, The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. The Middle by Jimmy Eat World. Number 10, Rain On Me by Lady Gaga. Number 10, Rain On Me by Lady Gaga. And the bonus for two points, what exact year did How You Remind Me by Nickelback come out? What exact year did How You Remind Me by Nickelback come out? Those are all your questions for songs by the decade. We'll be back with the answers right after this. We are back with the answers to songs by the decade. Let's see if you got all of these correct. Number one, All of Me by John Legend was from the 2010s. 2010s. Number two, Back in Black, ACDC, the 1980s. The 80s. Number three, Born to be Wild, Steppenwolf, the 1960s. 60s. Number four, Complicated, Avril Lavigne, 2000s. 2000s. Number five, Straight Outta Compton, NWA, the 80s. The 80s. Number six, Heroes by David Bowie, the 70s. The 70s. Number seven, I Swear by All for One, the 90s. The 90s. Number eight, London Calling, The Clash, the 70s. Number nine, The Middle, Jimmy Eat World, the 2000s. Number 10, Rain On Me, Lady Gaga, the 2020s. And the bonus, How You Remind Me, Nickelback, 2001 was the exact year that came out. I was doing uh, bingo and trivia the other day at Tennessee Hills Distillery in Jonesboro, Tennessee, and uh, joked that the bartender was conceived to that song. And she goes, I was born in 2001, which made me feel real old. So there you have it. Songs by the Decade. 
we have uh, had some fun with that quiz today. Jimmy Eat World in the middle on that quiz. They're playing in Asheville, North Carolina. I think I'm going to go because they are not like a bucket list band for me, but I do like a lot of their songs. And I think it's only like 35 bucks, 40 bucks. It's like a real old regular concert ticket price as opposed to Taylor Swift for 10 grand or whatever they go for nowadays. Um, And it's a small, cool outdoor venue that we're going to see the Goo Goo Dolls and Fits in the Tantrums at for a double build show in September. And uh, Jimmy Eat World there, I think in August or end of July. So I'm going to check that out. But uh, there you go. That was a fun episode today. Your fact of the day is Crayola comes from the words for oily chalk. Crayola, oily chalk. If you didn't know that, now you know. And the letter D, we had a uh, reptile or amphibian that starts with a D. And I'm going to say a dragon. <laughs> is that is that a reptile? Also, are they real? I'm going to say a dragon. Uh, how about tools? We've got uh, drills. And things that have wheels, how about dune buggies? All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Ryan. That's me. Cheers.